Okay, team, um, as y'all know, made some money tonight, um, and I wanted to show y'all what I've seen. So on the 28th, around um, here, I started watching GJ. Um, I seen that it came and bounced off of my support. Let me show y'all how I do my support first. I go to week one, zoom in. Uh, so that was two days ago, so it would have been this red candlestick right here. Okay, um, I put my, sorry about that, I put my, um, lines at the top of the wick out, so this line would have been up here, well, it doesn't want to work for me tonight, and then this bottom line would have been where it is right now, because it, I called this out two days ago, then I will go back, zoom out, first of all, you can see this is in, in an upward trend, Okay, market is going up. It's respecting this 20 EMA. That's what I usually go off of, 2050 and 200. Um, I will not move my support zones. Um, I leave them from week one and keep them there on each chart. So I'll just keep, continue to go back, look at the charts, see what they're doing. Um, as you can see right here, it kind of dropped down under my support. But look at that W. It's smooth, y'all. Smooth. Okay, so y'all got to pay attention to multiple different things. RSI, M's and W's, whatever your thing is. Uh, mine is support and resistance. And then finding those M's and W's um, if I see them, okay? So keep going. I don't I don't trade the higher time frames. Um, not my thing. I like the shorter time frames. So... Once I get down to M30, I'm looking and seeing that um, right in here in this middle section is where I would have been. Uh, let's see. Where is... Okay, so as you can see, let's see, where's the 28th? Okay, right in here. So, right here is where I seen it bounced three times, okay? It hit my support, boom, did not go under it. Hit my support, boom, did not go under it. Hit my support, wicked out. On this wick out, right in here is whenever I place my trade. Okay, this was the first trade I ever placed. Came up, took some profit right there. It came back, it went up above all the EMAs, and then it dropped back down. Uh, once it crossed over here, this is consolidation to me. Um, it's all in between the EMAs. I don't trade any of that. Continue to watch it. Today, I started trading about right here. Um, not because of support and resistance or... Um, any of that I actually traded on M30 so I can show you where I traded it exactly so as you can see on M30 here this is where, uh, it wicked out three times on my um, support that's giving me a good indication that it's going to continue an uptrend it might come down a couple of times but it never came back down to the support level came up came down, back up, okay, so that's what I'm looking for when I trade, uh, pretty much just do uh, support and resistance week one, top of the candlestick, bottom of the candlestick, today I um, move my support and resistance to today's candle, uh, actually I would have went off of yesterday's candle because today's candle wouldn't have started yet too much, okay, move this down, bottom of the wick out that's just how I do my support and resistance not everybody does it from the wick out some people do it from the base of the candle up to you um, so this is what I've seen today uh, seen this coming back up it never hit this 200 EMA so it's respecting this 20 and 50 seen it cross uh, right here the candlesticks came across the EMAs 
Uh, I was waiting for it to either drop down to this 200 and shoot back up or to continue to respect it and it continued to respect it. I got in uh, kind of at a bad time, not going to lie. Uh, the market closes around 4 o'clock. Well, it doesn't close, but it slows down a whole lot around 2, 3 o'clock. Um, and so I got in about around that time um, because it came up above the 20 and 50 EMA. Stayed above, stayed above, stayed above. So I got in about right here. Okay. And I just rode this all the way up. Stayed in it past the the crazy um, the crazy spread that it goes through at the end of the day. Um, stayed in it. Continued up. I had a um, private lesson that I was doing for softball. I went out and uh, did that. Left my phone inside. Came back in. And when I tell you the profit was big it was big okay so when i tell y'all support and resistance works y'all it works okay go set your support and resistance week one zoom in so you can see those candlesticks each candlestick is a week so tomorrow i'm setting my candlestick my um, support and resistance on this last candlestick from today okay and that's what i'm going off of for tomorrow I don't make any more. This black one that I set right here, uh, that's just an extra. Um, if you trade against the trend, sometimes you want to know where it's going to come back down to. That's my guesstimate um, just from where the market has consolidated a few times up in here. Okay, that's my guesstimate of where it's going to come back down to before it goes back up. I'm, I don't like trading against the trend, so... If I'm looking at these charts, I'm looking for more buys. Therefore, I need to know that there is a possibility that this bounce twice, it could come down to this uh, 50 or this 20 right here. Okay, 20 or 50. Or if it passes those, it can come down to this level. Okay, so that's what I'm looking for. Whenever I say I don't go against the trend, I don't trade against the trend. Okay. I will not trade this sell as some of the some people will and they will make good money off of it. I will not. Okay. I made good money off of trading with the trend. So I'm trading buys here. Okay. So if you have any questions, let us know. If not, peace, put God first and everything will work itself out. Bye.